Hey everyone, excuse the garb today. Usually I only wear this stuff when it's a church event or something like it, but it's uh, getting cold by Southern California standards. So you may see me wearing it more often. It's the garb of the rural Ethiopian or the farmer or the priest. It's very versatile. Anyway, I'm here to review Talking Back, Talking Black, Truths about America's lingua franca by one John McWhorter. He's my favorite linguist. Maybe you throw Noam Chomsky uh, at number two, although I read more of Noam Chomsky's politics than his linguistics, and I have some issue with his politics as well. John McWhorter also comments a lot on politics. He's a center-left guy, but because of the way that politics goes, a lot of people end up confusing him for a center-right guy or even a right-wing guy or a conservative or something like that. In any event, the main premise of this book is that what used to be called Ebonics in the 90s, what academics call African American Vernacular English or AAVE, is in his preference as a black American, black English. And it is a whole field of study and it is not, uh, you know, fanciful, but it is an authentic area and field for rigorous study within language. And much like in Egypt, there is modern, standic, uh, modern standard Arabic, the fusha, and there's also the Egyptian dialect of Arabic. In the United States, we have what you can call standard English, and then what we have academic English, and then you have black English as well. I'm sure you could probably add a couple more local dialects, but the big thing is it's not just a compendium of slang, but there are extra shades of meaning. There are uh, rules and logic, although not Aristotelian, uh, in regards to the language or the dialect of the language. And there are, um, in general, it's a black English is a way of expressing informality rather than formality. And it's not one or the other. Oftentimes people speak both standard English and, and black English, uh, as I do. And uh, so the more comfortable and more familiar you are with someone, the more you are to, whether wittingly or unwittingly, beknownst to you or unbeknownst to you, trust that person to not take you as stupid for speaking in a way that is more poetic, that expresses more joy, and that you have your guard down more. So with more familiar people. Anyway, to give you kind of a, a preview of it, I'll read a little bit. It's from page 34. He been seen it. He saw it a long time ago. He done seen it. He saw it recently. He be seeing it. He sees it regularly. He's steady seeing it. He is right now in the process of seeing it. So that's just kind of one small example uh, of many that, that John McWhorter gives us that black English is intelligent. There is a rhyme. There is a reason to it. It's not accidental. Don't call it Ebonics. Don't call it African-American vernacular English. Don't judge people as less intelligent if you hear them going in and out of it. And uh, don't freak out when you see Obama or even maybe Hillary Clinton. I mean, you know, they spent some time in Arkansas or uh, Ale Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez delving into a different dialect of English. It's not just code switching. It's not just slang. There's depth to it. Study it if you want. The easiest way to study it, uh, because this is actually not John McWhorter's main area. Uh, it's a side area, is to look at other black linguists. And if you read the book, he, he has them by name listed people who it's their actual specialization. He's more of a, uh, a generalist, but 
you know, he felt like touching this area ever since he uh, got famous on cable news years ago. I think it was uh, around the year 2000, might've been 97, 99, uh, when they called him to talk about the Ebonics phenomenon in the school system in the city of Oakland, AKA the town. Anyway, I hope you read this book and enjoy it. Uh, he also has a podcast called Lexicon Valley. So you can check out his podcast, Lexicon Valley, if you want to get a feel for him. He's also on the video podcast of Glenn Lowry, a conservative economist. And they they talk back and uh, forth, although they have some differing views. They have a lot they agree on on their show, Talking Heads. So you can see him there as well.